Welcome back to another clay video. Today we are going to create Chip's bed again from Cuphead. First things first, we need to create a bunch of poker chips with clay. Now this is not an easy task because it has a bunch of alternating colors and it's not really something you can freehand. So, using my very limited knowledge of 2D art, I created this little outline of a poker chip. I've converted it into an SVG file, put it into Tinkercad, and exported it as an STL, which means now we can stick it into our slicer and 3D print it. And here is our little poker chip cookie cutter. I originally thought I could just kind of smash this into the clay, but it didn't work that way. First, however, we need to mix the colors for our poker chips. Each chip has three different shades of that color. We have a lighter red, a darker red, and then a very washed out light red in the center. It's very essential that every poker chip ends up being the exact same height. So in order to achieve this, I've used my pasta machine and rolled out perfectly flat sheets. When I stack two of these up, we have the height of the poker chip. Like I mentioned, we can't actually use the poker chip as a cutter, but we can use it to make an indent and we can just follow that with the knife and cut out the little sections that we need. There's a total of 16 wedges going around each poker chip, so we need 8 of each color, but we need 4 poker chips, so we're gonna have to make 32 of these light red wedges, and then we can move on to the dark red wedges. As you can imagine, this whole process took a very long time. So here is the full collection of the red wedges. I also made a few extra of each color just in case I messed up or for some reason needed some extras. Now in the same way we made the wedges, we can cut out the center. After getting everything nice and rounded, we can start alternating these pieces going around the chip. And at this point I realized this is looking really amazing and surprisingly it's all just kind of worked out. That's actually pretty rare when I make things with clay. And here is our completed red poker chip. So now let's go on and make the other three. Our next color is yellow, and for some reason the yellow chips only have three, while the red and blue have four. Not sure why, but let's create these yellow chips. And let's add those onto the stack. And now for the blue chips. If you notice, the center isn't really that much of a difference from the light blue, and that's because I completely ran out of white clay while making this, and the little bit I have left I need to use for his face. Now our full stack is complete, but I want to arrange this to look a little bit better. I want to offset the chips so it's not a perfect stack, and I also want to rotate them so the dark and light areas don't perfectly match up. For the blue one, however, I tried to make them pretty straight because we're going to be making the face on this, and I don't want them to be too far off from each other. After making sure the front of it is nice and flat to create a face, we can start cutting out the mouth. I thought about it for a little bit if I should just make the mouth on top of it or if I really should cut into it, and I decided it would look better being inside of the mouth. I was just very worried that if I messed this up, I couldn't really finish this creation because this was all of the white clay I had to make these poker chips. But luckily it just kind of worked out and we didn't have to worry about any kind of disaster. Here we have the ton, and we can start working on the teeth. The way I like to deal with white clay is to cut it straight off the block and just cut out the shape I need from there because white clay gets instantly dirty the second you touch it. And pretty much the only way to prevent this is to use this method or to do some crazy cleanup after you're done, which I just really don't like to do. After we get the teeth into place, we can work on the eyes. First we have a nice orangish yellow base layer, and then we can go on to creating those typical cuphead eyes that you see in pretty much every character that looks like Pac-Man. We can remove those from the table and carefully get those into place.
Now you can see this super happy face transform into an angry face with one little detail. Finally, we have a tiny little ball of red clay for the nose, and it's time for a bit of cleanup. I'm using some isopropyl alcohol on a Q-tip. And this works really good to remove any tool marks or any type of hair or filth or whatever you may have in your clay. After that, let's take some foil to start creating the hat. I typically don't like using foil as a filling because it makes things very lumpy and it's kind of hard to cover, but for this instance, this hat is really big and I think it's just going to help a lot saving clay. I was pretty nervous about this part because I didn't really know how to create a hat like this. I know I've made a few hats in the past on characters, but never quite so big and not really this type of detail on a hat. I figured instead of actually carving this shape out of the hat, it'd be better to just push it onto it and blend it together. And I think it worked out pretty good. It might look a little bit weird and not very hat-like now, but after we add this brim, it looks a lot better. Let's remove this from the table and start adding in some folds. Typically on this type of hat, you see the sides of it bend up, and I think this really helps to make this hat look a little bit better, because when it was perfectly flat, I don't think it really looked the best. And we have successfully turned our poker chips into a cowboy. So let's finish this hat off with one more detail. We just need this little stripe going around the center of the hat. Let's fix those folds on the side. And now we are ready to get baked. After baking, there's nothing else we have to do, so here it is, Chips Bedigan, the poker chip boss from Cuphead. I hope you all enjoyed the video, this was really fun to make and I'm really glad to get back into making Cuphead. Next week you will definitely see another Cuphead boss. Leave a comment and see if you can guess which boss I will be creating in the next video. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.